Hey guys, it's Jessica and welcome back to the Sugar Crystal Kitchen. On this second episode of Back to Basics, we are going to be making pâte choux, a classic French pastry dough that they use for so many desserts such as profiteroles or cream puffs, eclairs, even churros. Today I'll be showing you guys how to pipe eclairs with them. So let's get right into the recipe. So for this recipe, the ingredients you'll need are four ounces of water and a pinch of salt, which I just added directly to the water, four ounces of whole milk, four ounces of unsalted butter, four ounces of bread flour, and eight ounces of eggs. So into a medium-sized sauce pot, we're gonna throw in our liquid ingredients, which is just the milk and the water, along with that pinch of salt and our butter, and over medium-high heat, we're going to bring this all to a rolling boil. Once everything is at a boil, take it off the heat and we're going to quickly stir in our bread flour with a wooden spatula and mix this through until all the flour is absorbed and it forms a dough. Now at this point all of our flour is absorbed and we're going to return everything back to the heat and we're going to keep cooking while stirring with our wooden spatula until a fond forms which is just this clear kind of film of flour you will see on the bottom of the pot and once you see that you're going to keep cooking it for about a minute or so and then remove it off the heat. At this point go ahead and transfer that dough directly into the bowl of a stand mixer and we're going to pop that onto our mixer with a paddle attachment and let that mix away for about a minute or two or just until the bowl feels cool to the touch. That way the hot dough doesn't scramble our eggs when we start streaming them in. Here I'm adding about 25% of our eggs and then giving it a good mix and scraping it down and then we're going to add in our second addition of eggs and then let that continue to mix until it's homogenous and then of course we're going to give it another good scrape. At this point it looks a little bit scrambled and chunky but don't worry just keep whipping that baby up and it'll come together I promise. Now this is my final addition of eggs. At the end you want to go a little bit at a time just because you don't want to add too much of your eggs and the consistency you're looking for is that the dough will form a v-shape when dropped from your paddle or if it forms a soft peak when you pick it up on your finger. At this point go ahead and transfer your pate choux into a pastry bag fitted with a number 806 piping tip. A really cool trick my fundies chef, Chef Melly, shout out to her, taught me is to clean up your piping bag with a bowl scraper. It just makes it so much neater. To make sure my eclairs will be piped a uniform length, I create a template for myself with a full sheet pan sized parchment paper, folding it hamburger, hamburger again, and then hamburger again, and then finally hot dog. So here I'm just cutting my template in half because I'm using a half size sheet tray today, but if you're using the full size sheet pan, just go ahead and skip this step. Now a little trick I like to use to prevent my template from lifting up when I pipe is I take some of that pate choux batter and pipe dots on my sheet tray to adhere the template to it. Now to pipe our eclairs you're just going to squeeze with your dominant hand and guide with your non-dominant hand and you're going to pipe and eclair the length of one of your long rectangles that you created with your template. And for width and thickness, you're looking to pipe about the same as the opening of your piping tip. And at the end, you want to gently release pressure, lift up and flick away. Now at this point, you're going to let your eclairs sit out at room temperature for 30 minutes until they form a skin. When you touch it, nothing sticks onto your finger. And then we're going to go ahead and pop them off into an oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit if you're using convection oven. If you're using a deck oven, make sure to bake them off at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to let them bake for about 20 to 26 minutes until they reach a golden brown around this color. Make sure you don't open the oven as they're baking in the early stages because it will cause your eclairs to deflate. Now after they've cooled off completely, I'm just bagging them so that I can store them in the freezer and I'll show you guys how this works in the next episode. 
And that's it for how to make pad chou, a very simple recipe, but can be used in a variety of ways. In the next future uploads, I'll be showing you guys how to finish them off with some good old pastry cream and chocolate fondant. But for now, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Back to Basics. Bye everyone.